You're doing okay. 27. Oh, no! 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 How'd that hurt me? Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with the Nuka Queen build. Your votes, community inspired the creation of this lovely lady. And a side note, if in the next second you see my beard grow out and my shirt change color, don't worry about it. It's just magic. Oh, more shots, more shots. That's okay, just an iBot. Another iBot. Another iBot. No problems. And that's why we've been using VATS. It's making us feel like super cowgirls taking stuff out. So much Nuka available for free, too. Kind of surprised in that. Oh, more. Is this like iBot, like, delivery service direction, actually? No, this is taking us back to the front, isn't it? Yeah, no, I'm... Attention little... guests. The last outbound tram to the Nuka World Transit Center will be leaving the park promptly at 11.55pm. Alright, more mines behind us. Nukatron. No problem. Alright, we're in caution now. Still don't see it. We might just have to go all the... Are these... Oh, they're dead turrets. Interesting. Uh... This per looks, looks like he was stabbed by this... Severed leg. Huh. Okay. Ow. Alright, so this is dry rock... Dry rock? Dry rock gold right over there. So we could actually probably safely stroll back to a bed and just get a quick save that's actually not a bad idea after how much we've died out here before yeah i think i'm gonna do just that exactly oh this pile of dirt has a bunch of nuka cade tickets in it huh that's kind of cool i want are there just piles of dirt like this all over the place with nuka cade tickets i mean we just got a huge amount of nuka cade a second ago that's kind of cool i was really hoping that there was gonna be a bed in there but you know take what you can get Phew, okay, quick save. Nice. Wow, um, I was gonna make a joke and be like, that's my anti-cat save. Uh, it turns out it's also my anti-idiot save. <laughs> Yours truly. I feel like this isn't that far of a drop. Maybe these bloody spots are from people who did exactly what I just did, though. All right, and we're back in. So, uh, see how things go. I'm gonna pick up any of the mines that I've left around here now, because they're not at our backs any longer, so, uh, I don't want to accidentally be fighting someone and stepping into a mine with them. Hidden right now, which is pretty nice. Hmm. Huh. How does one get in that? That's a beautiful bit of power armor. I mean, we're not a big power armor player, but... You install star cores. And that allows you to open up... Ah. What a cool little system. So you go around looking for the star cores. Wow, there's a lot of them. Okay. Oh, I got it. Star core mainframe. Emergency operations mode. Repair the mainframe. Optional, clear the galactic zone. Oh, okay. Oh, I bet it tells you where all the, uh... It, yep, there you go. They tell you where all the last ones are left. Ooh, that's cool. That's very good of them to do that. Huh. Oh, look, 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 look. They're giving us all the information of where they are. Oh. Ah, nice. So, I'm guessing that you put all these star cores in here. And that will allow you to control the robots, as well as get to get that sweet suit? What the hell happened here? That's a little provocative. Oh, hey -oh. oh, my god! That, again, I'm almost dead! Is that just like a freakishly powerful turret or something? Death Claw Steak, baby! Must be just a freakishly powerful turret. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. No need to shoot me. Hey. Uh. Oh. 
Baseball cap? Oh, I was gonna take the Nuka Cola out of his hand. Jesus Christ. Well, um, here's a safe. Well, we're still almost dead. At least uh, we got that save earlier, though. Vault Tech Among the Stars. I'm not gonna run back for another save at any point here. But it feels like we've more or less cleared out the general area of Galactic Zone. At least where we are. Hmm. Star Control, Theater, Refreshments. Let's actually, instead of going through the exit, I want to go through the front door to check out the robots over here. This will be our first place that we go and enter, officially. The Starlight Interstellar Theater. And uh, hopefully, I won't have to stop real soon and then pray the exit saves work. And we're in. Star Cores in the Starlight Theater. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to find a bed anytime soon. You're going to kill me? Yeah, you're going to kill me. The Star Tender. Such a great name. Such a terrifying creature. Oh, God. Oh, God. Woo! Uh-oh, please don't kill me off that mine. Thank you. Oh god! Oh god! Uh, quick! Grenades, frag- here we go. Alright. Yeah! Ah. Okay. And we're moving. I totally dig the star core. The star tender is a great pun too. Galacton Usher. Loving the puns. Loving the puns. I'm on stage. Do, 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 do. Oh, just for a moment, I'd go to stage to take my life, my moment, the spotlight. <sighs> I just get shot. Apparently, they didn't like the show. Bunch of assholes. Uh, all right, all of a sudden, everything's grown just right back in. Don't know how that happened. So we just died, and that was pretty shitty. But now we're back at the star control thing, because uh, we lost that save. But I'm going to pop one of these in, and now I actually have the mission based on this, so I'm going to understand this a little bit better. In the comments you guys have mentioned, check this out, you're going to like it. Emergency, go, cert control, one required for basic operation, I guess, uh, view system logs, eh? Alright, so now I understand what happened with the crazy robots. So basically, all of a sudden the gangs were showing up and breathing down the necks of the people that trying to get themselves to a position where they could, you know, sell a lot of these items. But, uh, what happened was that the gang showed up, all of a sudden Kendall was the girl who, or not the girl, it was the main guy who was leading the scrappers, and, uh, he was like, hey, um, we need to turn on the defenses, and Tiana was the person who was the one who was like, ooh, careful with the star cores. They turned on the defenses, the reboot occurred, and everything started shooting everyone. So, uh, that was the mistake that occurred. I'm happy that we've learned that bit now. So anyway, Star Cores is kind of the thing that we're doing. I'm gonna head back to the, uh, I think it was the restaurant. Go in there and uh, try not to die this time. Maybe get some Star Cores out of it. Alright, so I honestly don't remember which place we'd gone into before we died. Uh, you guys will know because it was like two seconds ago for you. But for me, it's been a week since I've, uh, filmed that. So, whatever's going on in here is what we're just gonna deal with now. The vibe is under attack. Oh, we got an announcer going on back. Ooh, tokens. Okay. Ooh, enter. Oh, Approach damn. It's a ride. Oh, that's awesome. I hope we get to ride this. I saw that you could actually ride a lot of the rides in the uh, trailer, so oh man, I'll be super excited if that's the case. Oh, God. Dude, turrets are crazy powerful right now. Oh, you're still moving. Solve that problem. Six hours and 43 minutes for a wait? No! All right, so where I grew up, uh, I grew up in California. I was six hours drive away from a place called Mammoth Mountain. It was basically the super far family vacation place we go to ski or something. And so whenever I hear anything about that time, I always relate it. Nuka girl, ace pilot. 
pilot. It's our you face. ready for your first combat mission? Yay! But anyway, it's just, that's how I judge everything, is if it's that far away, then it's too far. Okay! I was wondering if maybe they were going to be friends or something. But, uh, that was... Ooh, Starcore! I see it. See if we can get ourselves in there. You're not a very greeting handy. Wow. God, look at them just shooting like that. This place is so violent. There we go. Oh, I can't wait to try riding this. Can we get in through here somehow? That would be appreciated. Thank you. Alright, we got a door, but I don't quite have a way to get in yet. God, I love listening to this stuff going on in the background. That's so sick. Now you started it. Alright, we got through the master lock. Apparently, we can't really go through this area. I, I mean... Pretty clearly, we're not able to get through that part of the ride. But we do have a lot of nice stuff that we can just keep picking up here. Plus, and now we've made it back here to start... Wow, another master? So, is there a way to unlock these? Or like a key that I'd find? Because right now we just happen to be masters so we can do these. Alright, Starcore. Grab that little bit. Find Starcore as a Nuka Galaxy. Ooh, another one. Nice. And there's more Nuka Cola Quartz? Interesting, interesting. Any more Starcores? We got a Nuka Cola or Galaxy Terminal. Nuka <laughs> Cola, obviously Nuka Cola. Activate ride lighting. Do it. I don't really see what's going on for. Ooh, that's probably what I was looking for. Is the Nuka Cola Galaxy Key. Luckily, we didn't even have to worry about that. Can we get through this? Ah, uh, yeah, we got the key, so we totally can. Jesus Christ, Greeter, give us a break, shall ya? Uh, so this is where the Nuka Girl, like where a lot of the my thumbnails are coming from, is this person. This picture, actually, reversed, is how I made my thumbnail. Oh, sweet, we got a... Take outfit? Charisma, weight, 5, 45, 35. Huh. Wow. That's pretty sick. Alright, I thought I'd just turn the lighting on. It's looking a little... Oh, wait, can I actually ride a ride to do this? Ah, oh, that would be so cool. Alright, we got a Nuka Cola Galaxy key here. Another star. Wow, there's a shit ton of star cores here. Now, star cores unlock an emergency protocol already. Well, fuck yeah, let's do it. Park Medallion Dispenser. Medallion. Medallion. Yes. I would like one medallion, please. It's where they serve sandwiches, because it's a medallion. No, no, go fuck. You know, I accidentally stepped out here, but it's not necessarily the worst case scenario because I, at least I can kind of get an idea of where I am. Some more boundaries, or excuse me, bearings, not boundaries, whatever. Whatever. Alright, so this went over in this direction, but apparently we can't really do much with this. Hold on, let's check out the Nuka Girl costume. Nuka Girl rocket suit. Grants the ability to breathe underwater as well. Well, that's pretty sick. Let's see. Now, that's a pretty sick ish with the... The cleavage showing and the stomach thing, you would not survive in the depths of space very well with something like this. It's just not that pressurized. Still, it's a pretty badass looking suit. Alright, let's explore the ride a little bit. Wait, can we go in the opposite direction? Can this be like reverse Approach some? and identify yourself. Block hostile target. Jesus Christ. More death class take, please. Galacton Defender. Wow, that wasn't enough to kill him. All right, so, ouch! All right, how do we get Astro Gut? I thought it said Afro Gusty. I was like, what's an Afro Gutsy? All right, so we can't ride this. Woo, but everything's turning on, which is pretty sick. Oh, wee! We can do the ride backwards, kinda. All right, we got an Astro, excuse me, an Afro Gutsy. Gotcha, Afro Gutsy. <laughs> God, I love that name. I feel like. Oh man, if we could make this be fixed. This reminds me of Space Mountain at Disneyland. Holy crap! Who puts laser turrets on the ride? I mean, I, I get kind of why the robots might have like gone crazy and attacked everyone. But they're like taking weapons that aren't actual weapons. These guys are straight up using lasers, like actual weapons. Also, I feel like I could totally ride this and shoot everything as we're riding it. But instead we're doing it this backwards way. <laughs> Alright, well... Ooh! This looks so much fun! Oh, man! I really hope there's a way to turn this on. I'm really excited about that idea. 
Oh, come on. Please be a way to do it. Right, a lot of stuff keeps shooting at me. I don't... Oh, we're like dying dead closeness. I'm gonna have a rad scorpion steak right now. What is that sound? God, it's annoying. Animatronic aliens, all right. More animatronic aliens, I see. No, but... Fuck. All right, that's stupid alien. We're gonna knock that guy up beside his head. Here we go. Try number two, huh? God. I mean, what we learned last time was to back off and take things easy. So we're gonna be smart about it again. Stand back, just sort of picking at people, letting them come to us. Also, it's very noisy with all the robots. Stupid laser turrets. Stupid laser turrets. Stupid robots. Can I get in this one? No, I cannot. I didn't walk this way last time, did I? Oh, I must have. Yeah, because there's the Astro. I really like how they designed this. Feels very natural for a ride. Oh god. Like I feel, like, I really like the idea of them going to different rides and just like checking out the introductions and how you sort of introduce a ride. Because this does feel a lot like Space Mountain, like I mentioned. Mentioned. So with it feeling so Space Mountainy, I'm really curious if like I mean these are rockets for flying. I mean, even like the walking down when you like see from above is pretty damn epic. Game froze. Well, that was pretty damn unsettling. Uh, unfortunately, so we have this crash that occurs, or freeze, more or less. And now, not only have we died, but we froze there. And so we have to start this again. So, I'm going to go to a different spot, because that's been a pain. I'm tired of restarting these things. There's got to be a bed somewhere here in Nuka World, right? I mean, at least this galactic zone. Actually, I recall that this was the place that we started. Ah, okay, yeah, the theater. Okay, let's see if we can do better in this one. My general thought process for this is in and out kind of thing, and then just saving back at the main bed. But uh, I'm not 100% sure. Luckily, we've got a lot of explosives, so I'm going to switch to frag grenades and uh, hope for the best right now. Oh, the star tender. I remember that sweet name. Here we go. All right, uh, I care about Star Tender most right now. Cause he's the most frightening dude. Moving, moving, grenades thrown, grenades thrown. Too close. Really would hate to kill myself off my own stupid grenade. You know, I think it would make sense to take some medics. I know we're parched, I know that, but it's let's get some of that going. And plus, we got these crazy Nuka Colas that we have available to us. We're gonna start taking a lot more drugs right now because things are kind of crazy and we need as much help as we can get. Alright, we're doing okay. 27. Oh no! 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 How'd that hurt me? Psycho buff, anyone? Couple purified waters. Rawr! Sure, rad scorpion meat. Let's uh, let's get as much as we can going. Reload. And peek! Galacton technician. Heals. Get some more water again. Holy crap. Holy crap. And peek! Laser turret, turn. Second laser turret, okay. Yes! I don't hear much. Okay, this might be a good chance for us to even leave and save. There's our star tender. Right leg showing, buddy. All right. Okay, we're still in danger. This is debatably when we would leave because we're, you know, there's not a lot of action going on. We're doing okay. All right, moving forward. Hello! Okay, still in danger. Not bad though. Bathrooms are clear. 
Right, is there a hole in the bathroom? Oh, there's people back here with star cores. N very cool. But uh, not yet, not yet. What about a bed? Any beds in the bath? What the? Okay, we're gonna talk about that later. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button down there. And of course, when the ground rises, meet your feet. The wind always be at your back, and the sunshine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.